And Jesus, just a moment, I like this. Go ahead, Don. And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. Riding on a mule. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. I wish I had somebody to pray with me. I don't think you know what I'm talking about. I dare everybody that knows what I'm talking about. Raise your hand and say, I do, brother. The multitude was there. And the disciples were walking along with Jesus. I see two women come running up to Jesus. They came running quickly up to Jesus. Come girls. Martha and Mary. I see a young man with them. Jesus is on that mule. And they began to just touch the mule that Jesus rode. And they was crying Hosanna to the king. And the critics said, they're looking, nice looking folk. And they're carried away with this man on the mule. I dare you to raise your hand and say, I am too. They got real close to Jesus and got close to that mule. Jesus is just going along on that mule. And folk laughed and jeered. And Martha and Mary turned and took a look. Said, you go right ahead and laugh all you want to. But you don't know this man on this mule like we do. He said, our brother was dead. Lying dead in the tomb. And this man on the mule raised him up. You don't know him like I do. I dare somebody to raise your hand and say, you don't know him like I do. Go a little further. They follow him along. One thing about Jesus, you're going to follow him through hard places and follow him through easy places. You're going to stick with him when all of hell's against you. Because hell can only go so far. And another man came up, fine looking, strong, husky fella. And they said, Look at him, he's an intelligent looking man. You ever hear that spoken about Pentecostals? He or she looks very intelligent. Wonder what it is that got them carried away. It's that man on the mule. Praise God, raise your hand, say, I know that man on the mule. He walked along with Jesus. Somebody called him aside and said, what is it that you're so carried away with this man on the mule? Thank you, Jesus. He said, hmm, fella, I don't think you understand to know from whence I have come. When I first met this man, I was in the tombs. I was turning in and getting dead people out of graves. I was taking those people that had just been buried and eating their flesh. And old rotten flesh. I, it, was, it was awful what I was eating. But when I met this man on the mule, I got something else to eat. I wish somebody could hear what I'm saying. Raise your hand and say it was awful what I was eating. It was awful what I was devouring. It was awful what I was living on. Beer and whiskey and wine and harlots and whores and filthy corruption. But I met this man on the mule. Lord, if somebody don't praise God, I'm going to shout for myself. I wish I had somebody here to praise God with me. Huh? You just don't know me. I, I was eating that dead flesh. And he came to me. He set me free. And I'm not bound by that devil any longer. I wish somebody would raise your hand and say, He set me free. And I'm not bound by sin any longer. 
for the sun has set me free. If you love him, raise your hands and praise God. I was living once in Satan worked his will in me. I'm not bound by drugs any longer. Why don't somebody raise your hand saying, I'm not. How many were bound by drugs? Stand up and cry it out. I'm not bound any longer. I'm living now in Canaan. Jesus' blood is all over me. He set me free from condemnation for the blood of Jesus Christ has set me free. Raise your hand. Thank God for the blood. On and on we could go. Those three fishermen cursing and drinking met this man on the mule. One thing for sure, you can't meet Jesus, really meet him, without there being a change in your life. A change in your life. Raise your hand and say, there's been a change in my life. There's been a change in my life. You're healed in the name of Jesus. It's in your lower abdomen. You'll never feel it again. You're set free by the power of God. You met Satan. Satan came against you March the 14th of this year and tried to back you away from your divine ordination. Along about 7.13 in the evening, Jesus came and drove that power away and he'll never be back again. I wish to God somebody could hear this. If you love him, raise your hands and praise God. You got a condition and you're right over it. You're healed, honey, and you'll never suffer again with it. I wish to God somebody would raise your hands and magnify the Lord. You're a healthy looking man and you'd be the last one that you look for somebody to be something, but you got high blood pressure. You're healed in the name of Jesus. You don't have it anymore. More. You're set free by the power of God. If somebody don't praise God, I'm going to shout by myself. Three times Satan has tried to come against you and destroy you. Three times God has moved him back. And I see God giving you power over that human that's, that's possessed. And God is going to set them free in the name of Jesus. If somebody don't praise God, I'm going to shout by myself. If you love Jesus, raise your hands and praise God. There's something in here, there's something in here that's bigger than man. It's called the power of God. If you love Jesus, raise your hands and praise God. Yes, sir. Michael Shreve and all of them know that you're a businessman. But there's something transpiring in your life. And for the last three months, there's been a burning in your soul and you don't feel like yourself anymore because that other man in you, praise God is rising up. The human man has succeeded in business. The, the human man has arisen high. But now the God man, that that's a part that's born of God, is rising up and you're going to make that missionary trip and God's going to heal the sick when you get there. If you love him, raise your hands and praise God. Can you believe Believe? If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe. Lord, thou knowest that I believe. See that woman there? Somebody touch her. Pray. Stand up, honey, in the name of Jehovah. Look at me. You've got these places here. And you go to the restroom, you won't find them. They just mail it away. Praise God. They're gone. There they go. In the name of Jesus. Nobody could know a thing about that. Only the Lord. God Almighty, let her shout. She's got a right to shout. If you love Jesus, raise your hands and praise Him. 
Stand up, son. Hurry, you. Yes, sir. Step right out here in the name of Jehovah. Praise God. When you were eight years old, an anointing came on you. You got away from it, but it came back to you. Christmas Day, it's on you now. Thank God. After tonight, you're going to walk under an anointing like you've never walked under before. I wish somebody would raise your hands and praise God. Stand up, sister. Praise God. You've got that heart condition and sugar's forming. If you'll step out here, the minute you step in the aisle, you'll be healed. Thank God. There it goes. Let her praise God. Can you believe? If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe. Come over here, little sister, right quick. You've got a low blood count. You've got too many white corpuscles. That's why you're having those weak spells. And the doctors don't know how to take care of it. Well, God's taking care of it tonight. You go get another examination, and they'll tell you that your blood's all right. Praise God. My God, I wish somebody could hear. I wish somebody could believe. Can you believe? If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believes. Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I believe. Come here, son. Stand up here with this little boy. Hallelujah. God anointed him in one of your Sunday morning meetings. God moved on this boy. He's, he's not the same. You're his mother, aren't you? Is he the same boy? He's not the same boy. No way. Praise it be unto God. I see you packing up your little bags, and it's not going to be too far out yonder, three or four years, and you're going to make a trip. And a blind woman's going to get healed in a foreign field. I see another one getting up. Um, 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 uh, 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 uh. The whole place, the whole place, the whole place is catching fire. Praise God. Let it burn, Lord, in the name of Jehovah. If you love him, raise your hands and praise God. Little woman sitting right there don't even know. That's it. Those beautiful flowers on her dress. Done up, honey. In the name of Jehovah, you're being healed. That thing is in the lower part of your abdomen it's a tumor but you'll never die with cancer praise God you're being healed in the name of Jesus if you love Jesus raise your hands and praise God can you believe can you believe if thou canst believe all things are possible to him that believe Lord thou knowest thou knowest all things thou knowest it I believe turn around and tell someone if there's anybody here that believes it's me if there's anyone here that believes there's a woman right there, this boy's mother-in-law, stand up, honey, come out here. Not one thing do I know about this, but I see, I see you about 18, 17, hardly 18 years old, and you're going down underneath two great big trees, and there's a spring right there, and you were reaching to get some water, but there was an anointing came to you, an angel touched you there, you've never been the same since, you've got a condition in your body, and if your son-in-law will come and touch you right now, you'll be healed, praise God. That's healing going through her. El Rabahaya, if you love him, raise your hands and praise God. Can you believe? If thou canst believe, the whole place is catching fire. Praise God, can you believe? In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, all things are possible to him that believe. I want three people quickly directed by the spirit three people that's deaf three people deaf i mean got a deaf ear or both ears doesn't make any difference come now and watch what god will do stay there stay there and go to to your grave with a deaf ear if you want to come up here and watch what god will do in the name of jesus you'll have to do it this way please get the news to them Here's one, which, all right. Here's another one. Where's the third one? 